tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. What is up, guys? It is me, Lardy D, back again with some wholesome gaming content. A little bit different today. I came across an awesome video game story taking place in EVE Online. Some of you may or may not have heard of that game. If not, okay. If so, great. I mean, up until this point, I didn't know a whole lot about it, but I did a ton of research about the story and what's going on. And it is one of the greatest stories of betrayal I've ever seen. So right now, guys, sit back and relax with your favorite drinks and get ready to listen to The Tragedy of Gigex the Wise. But first, let me give you a little bit of an idea on what EVE Online even is. So EVE Online is a massive multiplayer online role-playing game that was originally created by CCP Games in 2003. Yes, that makes this game almost 16 years old. And yes, people still play this game, if not even more than they used to. This game has a massive following and a giant fan base. The in-game mechanics are just as interesting. People can assume multiple different positions within the game. They can uh, take upon themselves a career. Um, they can become a pilot, uh, a pirate, a miner, a military officer, a leader within a faction. It's so realistic, in fact, that people even vote other real players into positions. They have democratically held elections where they vote other fat people, I mean other players, into positions within the game to run certain games. There are quite a bit of details involved in playing this game. But anyways, now that you have some idea, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's talk about the Judge and Gig X, the two main players I want to talk about today. Gig X being the faction leader of the Circle of Two Alliance, also known as CO2, and the Judge being his subordinate. So the Judge. Circle of Two's head diplomat, also a um, member of EVE's Council of Interstellar Management, CSM as they call it, it's a group of elected players who travel to CCP Games, the creator of EVE Online. They travel to Iceland several times a year to make player voices known and to help bring about changes to the game. But the judge's loyalty to the leader of CO2, GigX, wasn't doing too good. Um, a big massive war had just transpired and the judge and a series of other leaders and diplomats managed to pull together and form a coalition. Um, from the ashes of war. They called it the Imperium Coalition. It was a group of many alliances working together in peace and in war, apparently. But Gigex became more and more erratic. He started acting selfishly. According to players, he acted like a demigod. You do what he says, no matter what, or your items will be seized and you kick out of the alliance. But the worst part, during the Great Casino War, in order to protect his own assets, he decided to sever all ties with the Alliance and the Imperium Coalition and gave all of the Alliance's 25 minutes to evacuate CO2 held space. In essence, ripping to shreds a month of effort on the judge's part and also creating new enemies in the process. So the judge already mad, pissed off and hurt. <clears throat> a few weeks later, he goes to a player summon in Iceland uh, where he was met by other leaders and diplomats of the alliances um, that his own had literally just betrayed. Um, but the leader of an alliance known as Goon Swarm had a plan. And over a series of secret meetings with the judge and also the other members of the alliances that were in the Imperium Coalition, they managed to come to an agreement that Gigex had to be stopped. But better yet, it was time for CO2 to end. And the judge bided his time, waited for the right moment, and all at once he began his betrayal when Gigex went offline. Honestly, he was given too much power. He started by transferring ownership of the Keep Stars, which were massive citadels containing the majority of CO2's resources. He transferred them to Goon Swarm and all the other alliances in the coalition. And because of this, CO2's players were kicked out of the Keep Stars, but their ships were locked in unless they paid a recovery fee. But the judge was ready for that too. He secretly stole all of CO2's esque, which is Eve's currency. 
by, and by doing that, he stranded all of the players outside of the Keep Stars and with no money to get their ships back. Many members of CO2 tried and tried to reach GigX, and when he finally logged back in, GigX found CO2 in complete chaos. All of the Citadel's gone, everyone's ships gone, all of CO2's blueprints, plans, and money completely gone. So GigX had to sit there and watch as 13 years of effort and experience was destroyed in less than one hour of betrayal. But the judge still wasn't done with his revenge. Later on that day, sure enough, GigX was found on the EVE Online chat room talking up a storm, um, getting angry, getting upset, talking about revenge. And sure enough, he threatened to cut off the hands of the judge. The judge screenshot the chat, sent it to CCP Games, and had GigX permanently banned from EVE Online. 13,000 hours washed down the drain in less than an hour. And with that, guys, that really marks the end of the tragedy of GigX the Wise. GigX never got unbanned. He wound up going on to play World at Warcraft and some shenanigans over there. But guys, I hope you enjoyed story time with Lardy. I hope to do this again sometime. If you don't mind leaving a like, a comment, maybe a subscription, that'd be fantastic. Anyways, guys, y'all have a fantastic time. And just because I haven't said it all video, it needs to be said before the video ends. So guys, y'all have a moist day.